Hey, how's it going? I'm Jay, and today I'm going to be watching Die Hard from 1988 for the first time. Yes, I know. This is a weird one to not have seen. It's referenced all the time. I know some of the names. I know some of the famous lines from the film. I just have never seen the whole thing in its entirety. So let's start the movie and finally find out if Die Hard is a Christmas movie. You don't like flying, do you? After you get where you're going, take off your shoes and your socks and make fists with your toes. Okay. <laughs> Trust me, I've been doing it for nine years. I'm going to try that next time. It's okay, I'm a cop. Trust me, I've been doing this for 11 years. <laughs> All right, there's already Christmas vibes. We've got some jingle bells. We've got him with a gift of some sort. They've said Christmas. I don't know why this is even up for debate. We thank you one and all and wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Harry, it's Christmas Eve. Families, stockings. Actually, I was thinking more of mulled wine and a roaring fireplace. You know what I'm saying? She's not having it. Come on. Or do you think the baby can handle a little sip? That baby's ready to tend bar. <laughs> do you think baby can handle a little sip? Hello, Lucy McLean. Is Daddy coming home with you? Well, we'll see what Santa and Mommy can do, okay? Okay, we've got the nice little McLean family. It might be a good idea to make up the spare bedroom just in case. I do that already. What would I do without you, Paulina? She sounded kind of sassy there, but I think she was honest. Why did you say it like that? <laughs> I'm your limo driver. Okay. Why is he so awkward? Look at this. CD, CB, TV, telephone, <laughs> full brands have to trot. You know a few mama bears we can hook up with. Hell yeah. I like his limo driver. He's dope. So are your lady live out here? About the past six months. Meaning you still live in New York? <laughs> she had a good job. So now that means she had to move here. You're very fast, Argyle. I like that his name is Argyle. I've never heard that as like a name, just like a sock type or pattern tape type. Hey, that'll work. <laughs> Christmas music. This is Christmas music. Is it? Oh, it is. That's a cool looking building. You score, you give me a call in the car phone. Yes, you strike out, I'll get you a whole tip. You're all right, Argyle. Remember that when you sign for the tip. <laughs> yeah, Argyle's great. Even John McClane warmed up to him, and he's like, yeah, I dig you. I'm here to see Holly McClane. Just type it in there. Christ. Different last name. She's not a McClane anymore. <laughs> he looked pretty suspicious, though. What is he up to? Other than potentially filing his nails. Oh yeah, this is where it's going down. Wait, this is in the middle of a building? There's like a waterfall? This place is amazing. Looking for... Oh, the Then you must be John McLean. Now let's... What are you doing? You doing some cocaine? Missed something. <laughs> you throw quite a party. I didn't realize they celebrated Christmas in Japan. Pearl Harbor didn't work out, so we got you with tape decks. <laughs> she was made for the business. Tough as new. Show him the watch. It's just a small token of appreciation for all her hard work. It's a Rolex. Oh, is the Coke guy the new man? Oh, jeez. I hope not. I think he's got his eye on you. It's okay. I have my eye on his private bathroom. <laughs> Where are you staying? Why don't we make it easy? I have a spare bedroom. There we go. There we go. Kids would love to have you at the house. Do it, John. I would, huh? I would, too. Okay. She still loves him. I guess you didn't miss my name, though, huh? They figure a married woman's got You are a married woman, Holly. You're... Oh. Speech time. Be back in a few minutes. Here we go. Looks like problems are going down. Worthy, right? Whoa. Just like that? Oh. 
suspect. Oh, I guess that guy wasn't suspect. He just got shot. Whoa, look at the squad. Oh, we're going into total lockdown, ladies and gentlemen. That building does look really cool, though. Looks like a building that has waterfalls in it. <laughs> Whoa, that was one way to get down some stairs. Holy shit. <laughs> He's doing the foot thing. He's like, ah, I feel comfortable already. Fish with your toes. <laughs> nine, 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 bother oh, come on. I was doing it a sneaky way here. This guy doesn't give a shit, though. Argon? Oh, no. All right, just be calm. Everybody be calm. Are they actually killing people or just like warning shots? He has no shoes on. As if that's the biggest worry right now. I can't believe I don't have my shoes. Nakatomi Corporation's greed, they're about to be taught a lesson in the real use of power. Okay. I did not recognize Alan Rickman with a little goatee or beard. Joseph Yoshinobu Takagi, interned Manzana, 1942. I am Takagi. How do you do? It's a pleasure to meet you. How do you do? Okay, well, he didn't shoot him right away, so that's a bonus. Oh, okay, guided missile system. What are they gonna blow up? Or are they gonna blow up this building? My associate Theo has some questions for you. Sort of fill in the blanks questions, actually. What's your password? <laughs> I don't have that code. But I need the code key and the $640 million in negotiable bearer bonds. If they just want money, why'd they bring a guided missile system? I think he wants both things. I think he wants to destroy something and get money. <laughs> Just crawl it around. The code, please. It's a very nice suit. To be ashamed to ruin it. I'm going to count to three. There will not be a four. All right, John McClane. You better get there before there's a four. Although he said there is not a four, so get there before three. You're just gonna have to kill me. Okay. Oh. <laughs> John, don't get caught. I'm shocked that they just killed that guy. He seemed like he would be like somebody to keep around to hopefully get more codes from like the Japanese partners. Margo, tell me you heard the shots. Of course I'm still coming by later. <laughs> I love Argyle. Him and the bear just hanging out. Yep. Yeah, they're rigging this place with plasticine. Not plasticine, plastic explosives. What? Uh, it, whatever. You know what I mean. Think, God damn it, think. <laughs> okay, yeah. Get the fire department here. Oh, yes. uh. <laughs> Mom, baby, come to Papa. I'll kiss your fucking Dalmatian. Kiss your fucking Dalmatian. Oh, you stupid motherfuckers! <laughs> Around. John McLean's about to get a weapon upgrade, it looks like. The fire has been caught off, my friend. This guy looks like Jeffrey Dahmer. A German Jeffrey Dahmer. I promise I won't hurt you. What you promised? Drop it, dickhead. It's the police. There are rules for policemen. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. He like just crushed that guy's head. 
Oh, that was weird. The stunt man was probably wearing like rubber feet because you could see it had weird creases on it. And they look like flesh colored socks. Oh, he's got a radio. Okay. Are you gonna be talking to the bad guys? Wait, you're not gonna take his purple spanks off him? Nine million terrorists in the world, and I gotta kill one with feet smaller than my sister. <laughs> I wanted this to be professional. There's not a lot to ask. I'll ask you, Mr. T <laughs> but he's just sitting here snacking. You can walk out of here or be carried out. We have left nothing to chance. Now I have a machine gun. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Nice. Well played. To tell Carl his brother is dead. And out of sight. I don't want the hostages to. Okay, just. Keeping a hit list, Carl Hans. This is terrifying. Hopefully it stops. I would have never risked that, but I'm not John McClane, so that makes sense. What, stopping to check out the nudie mags? We do not alter the plan. Carl is not very happy. Something's wrong. John. Now, what does he think he's doing? His job. Without him, we still have a chance we might be able to get out of here. Tell that to Takagi. <laughs> no, I think John's got this. He's got a machine gun now. Oh, God. I don't love heights, so this just tripped me right out. Mayday, Mayday, anyone copying channel 9? That's the best place to transmit. The roof. Go, go! This channel is reserved for emergency calls only. Do I sound like I'm ordering a pizza? <laughs> hey, that's good. He actually reached somebody, like the actual police station? We just send the police now! Whoa. See if there's a black and white that can do a drive by. Yeah, load up on the Twinkies. Hey, Carl Winslow. They're for my wife. But yeah, she's pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get mixed up in this. Investigate a code two at Nakatomi Plaza, Century City. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> but can he hear the gunfire on the roof? Because I feel like you'd be able to hear that. Oh shit. Throw something in the blade to stop it. That's what I do in video games. Hopefully that's the ticket here. Oh, this is much more dangerous. <laughs> Almost cut his feet off. Jeez. He just says hi to the girls once again. What the hell? I guess it allows him like to know kind of what floor he's on. You're not going out there, John. My brother in Christ, don't do what you're about to do. He's got a lot of faith in this little strap. Holy fuck. <gasps> Jesus. Actually, good thing he doesn't have shoes on. Because he has a little bit more traction with his, just his feet. Come out to the coast. We'll get together. Have a few laughs. <laughs> Come out to the coast. Are they just going to see him? Oh, shit. They're on to him. <sighs> that was too close for comfort. It's about time. No signs of disturbance, dispatch. I'm gonna go in for a closer look. Oh, I'm nervous for you, pal. David Letterman opening the door. Good evening, officer. What can I do for you? Come on, where's the fucking cavalry? <laughs> yep, this is the ticket. 
C4. That's what I was thinking of, not plasticine. <laughs> for the advice <laughs> way to go John McClane I like that he has actual like one liners <laughs> alright throw more stuff outside the window throw another chair out <laughs> that should get the attention welcome to the party pal <laughs> Oh, the body flew out the window while well, Argyle's just sitting there bumping music. Come on. But are the Twinkies okay? I thought I told all of you I want radio silence. You and Carl and Franco might be a little lonely, so I wanted to give you a call. I love that he knows their names. Mm, these are very bad for you. Who are you then? Just a fly in the ointment, Hans. The monkey in the wrench. You know my name, but who are you? Another orphan of a bankrupt culture who thinks he's John Wayne. John Wayne? John McClane? Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? yippee ki motherfucker. <laughs> That's where it's from? yippee ki motherfucker, just from that one scene? This is my story. I, I am here out there. Hey, give us a break, Thornburg. Eat it, Harvey. Four. Three, two, <laughs> Harvey, oh, Harvey is pissed. And I'm Gail Wallens, and this is Nightline News at 10. Oh, the news person there? I watched her recently in Tales from the Crypt holiday special, All Through the House. She's, that, she's in that. She's like the main girl. It's also got Dr. Giggles himself. Larry Drake, I think his name is? Or, yeah. I read you, pal. You the guy in the car? What's left of him? Can you identify yourself? <laughs> Listen fast, this is a party line and the neighbor's got itchy trigger fingers. Well, this is great. I like that he said it's a party line as if like there's the good guys and the bad guys are all on the same channel. It's a very cop thing to do. They're well financed and very slick. I seen enough phony IDs in my time to recognize that the ones they got must have cost a fortune. I hear you, partner. LA's finest are on it. Hell yeah. I like that they're working together. Is he gonna get a job at the end of this to work in LA so that he can be with his wife? That has to be it. All right, who's talking to him? I am, sir. Sergeant Powell, Al Powell. Dwayne Robinson, pal, what's the deal here? What are these? Oh, there's the principal from Breakfast Club and the guy from Trading Places. But he appears to be the one who phoned in the report. In fact, I think he's a cop. How do you know that? A hunch. Party line. Like being able to spot a phony ID. Could be a fucking bartender for all we know. <laughs> That's true. Bartenders can spot a phony ID. <laughs> to suffer the anguish of international terrorism. An unidentified group My of guy. men seized control of the Nakatomi building. Exits. <laughs> all telephones which the group apparently brought with them. According to officials... You just been sitting here drinking Johnny Walker all night? Man, that's crazy. There could be over 30 hostages in there for all we know. All we know is that somebody shot your car up. It's probably the same silly son of a bitch you've been talking to. But what about the body that fell out the window? It's probably some stockbroker got depressed. Oh my god. This guy's an idiot. If you are what I think you are, then you'll know when to listen, when to shut up, and when to pray. <laughs> Damn roses. Freaking thorns, dude. Well, they got a snack bar? Heck yeah. Get a crunch, man. Hell yeah. When I saw them, I'm like, crunch is the only way to go. Also, that guy, I recognize because I used to watch Bill and Ted all the time. He was Genghis Khan. Kick ass. They're shooting at the lights. They're going after the lights. Pull them back. Powell should be in charge of everything. He knows what's going on. Send in the car. have themselves an RV. <laughs> I like that guy. Theo, I think is what they called him. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. oh my god, the quarterback is toast. Aren't you motherfucker, you made your point, let him pull back. 
So if you're the cops, what do you do now? You just saw them. They have rocket launchers. They've killed some of your men. Like, what do you have? If they have rocket launchers, I wouldn't even know what to do. Ooh, like, like a whole floor? That's a risky ass move, holy hell. The whole thing could just collapse. Actually, it wouldn't collapse. This is Nagatomi Tower that we're talking about, or Plaza. Tell me you got that. I got it, I got it. <laughs> Sources say the terrorist leader Hans, maybe this man, Hans Gruber. Hans Gruber is the most German name I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> down here and they're covered with glass who gives a shit about glass who the fuck is this <laughs> this is deputy chief of police Dwayne t robinson well i got some bad news for you Dwayne. I'm up here that look like you're in charge of jack shit <laughs> i'm not the one who just got butt fucked on national tv Dwayne. <laughs> get him argyle would make a good reactor too hey roy how you feeling pretty fucking unappreciated al you hang in there Yes. Yeah, thanks, partner. I like that they're their little camaraderie. They're buds right away. They're holding it down together. They're trying to work through the situation. Hope I'm not interrupting. What does he want? It's not what I want. It's what I can give you. I figure you're here to negotiate. Am I right? You use a gun. I use a fountain pen. What's the difference? I hate this guy. Hans. Bobby. I'm your white knight. Get rid of this guy. Throw him out the window. Bro, are you all right? Trying to fire than a thousand year old Twinkie. They both like Twinkies? Sugar and rich flour, partially hydrogenated vegetable oil, yellow dye number five. How many kids you got, Al? Well, as a matter of fact, my wife is working on our first. You got any kids back on your ranch? Two. Sure hope I can see him swinging on a jungle gym with Al Jr. someday. <laughs> Aww. Touching, cowboy, touching. Or should I call you Mr. McLean? Oh no! Sister Teresa called me Mr. McLean. The friends call me John. You're neither shithead. <laughs> yeah. Call me cowboy, motherfucker. yippee ki -yay. I told him we were old friends and you were my guest at the party. All right, John, listen. Come on, their guns are like his fountain pens. Hans, this asshole is not my friend. I just met him tonight. I don't know him. John. <laughs> <laughs> Is there something to be said that he was a coke head and he was drinking a coke and got shot in the head? I don't know. There's something there. Did you hear that? He just let the guy die, man. He just gave him up. Give me that headset. He can't you read between the lines? If he gave himself up, they'd both be dead right oh, now. No. Why don't you wake up and smell what you're shoveling? <laughs> Why don't you wake up and smell what you're shoveling? That's a good line. Never heard that before. I have comrades in arms around the world languishing in prison. The hostages in this building will be taken to the roof and they will accompany us in helicopters to the Los Angeles International Airport. He just wants all these random people released even though he doesn't know who they are? Or is it just because he knows it's, they're not going to be able to do it? It looks like this last one's going to take a miracle. It's Christmas, Theo. It's the time of miracles. <laughs> I, yeah, sorry. The FBI is here. Oh, want a breath, man? <laughs> I'm Agent Johnson. This is Special Agent Johnson. No relation. <laughs> no relation. I'm Dwayne Robinson, LAPD. I'm in charge here. Not anymore. Well, Hans is lurking around by himself. This is such a risky move. He's like the top guy. Send a henchman. Hi there. How you doing? <laughs> You're one of them. No, 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 oh, sneaky, sneaky. Doing his best American accent. Forget the roof. Come on, come on. I said forget the roof. I got people all over. That was actually really sneaky. But did he not see him? He was above the elevator taking notes on his arm, looking down at them. Like, he wasn't just listening, right? Like, I'm pretty sure he was looking directly at him. I'm John McClain. Oh, this is smart. Clay. He's not on the thing. <gasps> Time for the real thing, Bill. All I gotta do is pull the trigger. 
I don't know who's playing who here, genuinely. Did he not put any bullets in it because he knew? You gotta be on fucking TV with that accent. No bullets. You think I'm fucking stupid, Hans? Nice. Oh. oh. Oh, blew his knees off. Oh, shit. That guy going through the glass, though, head first? Holy. That looked dangerous. I mean, I get candy glass as a thing, but still. Shoot the glass. Oh, his feet are going to be all cut up after this, that's for sure. <laughs> Those hockey puck ex explosives are pretty dope. What was that all about? Dun dun. Ooh. Only John can drive somebody that crazy. <laughs> I should know. I'm his wife. Oh, his feet. Ah. I get it. I recently smashed a glass and it cut my foot and it was bleeding all over the place. It was disgusting. Just a little bit too. You got flat feet? Something had to get you off the street. I had an accident. The way you drive, I can see why. What'd you do? <laughs> Run over your cabin, split with the car. I shot a kid. <gasps> Whoa. You know, when you're a rookie, they can teach you everything about being a cop except how to live with a mistake. Anyway, I just couldn't bring myself to draw my gun on anybody again. Poor Powell. Aw. They're ordering the others to cut the building's power. They've got to take on a whole city grid. Yeah. Look, Johnson, that's crazy. It's Christmas Eve, man. <laughs> you can't shut down a block on Christmas Eve. Think of the lights. Here, shut it down. Shut it down now. Wow. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was going to say, like, what are we going to do for the rest of the movie? Just walk around in the dark? He's going to be pulling out more glass from his feet. That's for sure. Christmas music? Merry Christmas. The bastards are probably pissing in their pants right now. <laughs> yeah, they're pissing in their pants. They're dancing around grabbing half a billion dollars. Helicopters are on route, as you requested. When they touch down, we'll blow the roof. They'll spend a month sifting through the rubble. God. Yo, pal, you got a minute? Every time he says pal, I think he's saying pal. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. I want you to find my wife. Don't tell her it took me a while to figure out uh, what a jerk I've been. I should have been more supportive. I just should have been behind her more. You're damn right, John. Hey, but you came around on it. Thank God. She's heard me say I love you a thousand times. She never heard me say I'm sorry. And I want you to tell her that, Al. I want you to tell her that uh, John said that he was sorry. But you can tell her that yourself. You just watch your ass and you'll make it out of there, you hear me? Hell yeah, look at support of Al. Al pal, his pal. One minute, that's all I'm asking. One minute, just... You let me in right now when I call the INS. This is the last time these kids are gonna have to speak to their parents. Just to like, talk to the kids? God, John has seen better days. He's all bloody. His foot's all busted up. Although he can still do pull-ups. Oh, the mother load. Oh, jeez. Time for Carl's revenge. This is personal. Hey. Shit. Your flock, Miss Gennaro. Oh, there's the kids on TV talking. So is there something you'd like to say to them as they're watching? Come home. I've seen that kid. This is McLean. Ooh, the Hitchcock. Found us to make your acquaintance. <laughs> he like 
<laughs> Just jumped on him like that. It messed up. Figure we take out the terrorists, lose 20, 25 percent of the hostages. Get this thing on the deck. They're expecting Trump. He's gonna snipe from a chopper. Good luck, pal. Yeah, McLean, I have some news for you. We have your wife. Oh, he got him. Carl looks pissed. Rightfully so, though. All your little speeches, you're nothing but a common thief. I am an exceptional thief. And since I'm moving up to kidnapping, you should be more polite. It's interesting that, like, the 80s, it's always, like, just, like, $100,000 bonds. I think it was the same thing in Beverly Hills Cop. But nowadays, it's just always bags of cash. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Our helicopters are out of control. Johnson and Johnson are gonna get blown the hell up. Ooh. Hey, Tucker! Where? The vault! Where is the vault? The 30th floor! Fucking roof is firing the vault! Get down! Get down! Including you, John, you need to get off the roof. Is he gonna oh, John, what the jump off? No, he is not. <sighs> yeah, I definitely couldn't be John McClane with a fear of heights. I'll never even think about going up in a tall building again. Oh, holy shit. Oh, shit. This stunt is something else. Oh no, is it gonna drag him? Hopefully it's not too heavy. Oh no, John! <laughs> that was pretty dope. He like swung, shot out the window, got in there just in time for that thing to fall. They can grab onto something. Oh. oh, they got the chopper. Pour one out for Johnson and Johnson. Holy Christ. I'm gonna need some more FBI guys, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and Predator director's like, yeah, we need some like water stuff here. That's why there's a waterfall the whole time. Two bullets, Hans, and some C4, maybe. <laughs> Get him, Argyle. Although I did like Theo. He was pretty fun. Hans! Jesus. Hi, honey. How's it going? Been a minute. So that's what this is all about? Fucking robbery? Why'd you have to nuke the whole building, Hans? Put down the gun. Don't put down the gun. Mine, this is mine. Where's Powell? I hope Powell comes in here and starts shooting everybody up. You made a pretty good cowboy yourself, Hans. What was it you said to me before? Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he says it like an idiot, but yes. <laughs> Okay, genius sneaky gun on his back. Happy trails, Hans. What is he still holding on to her or something? Oh yeah. No, not the Rolex. <laughs> Jeez. Whoa, what a fall. That stunt was kind of crazy. I thought it was going to be a dummy, but not a dummy. <gasps> wow. 
What are all these? Oh, the bonds are all coming out the windows. Oh my god. And it's like it's snowing because it's Christmas in $100,000 bonds. Powell? Are they gonna know who each other are? He doesn't know what he looks like. Ah, It's like, I'm your guy. Want a Twinkie, pal? <laughs> Aww. He's making me tear up a little bit, that one. Oh, she's back. McLean, I want a debrief. I want a debrief. You got some things to answer. Interfering with police business. Carl! Yes, Powell's back on the streets. You'll be okay, man. You'll be okay. Don't shoot this one. This is our gal. <laughs> this was with me. <laughs> He's like, I don't trust you yet, Al. What are your feelings? <laughs> this is their idea of Christmas. I gotta be here for New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and now they're naked in the back seat. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It that was a that was definitely a Christmas movie, and it was a good movie. I, I really like that one. And that was Die Hard. It's been a long time coming. I know I should have watched this ages ago, but I'm happy I've finally done it now. It was action-packed. John McClane is just a badass. He had all the great one-liners, but most importantly, I really liked his relationship with Powell. They're back and forth, and how they like kept each other going. So it was nice that they kind of had that camaraderie throughout the movie, especially after John's gone through so much shit. He needed that extra push because he was saying bye to his family. He's like, please tell my wife I'm sorry. Like I'm not making out of here. It was good. There was a lot of wholesome moments, a lot of action, a lot of moments that caught me off guard, just like certain people dying, just like bam. And you're just kind of like taken back a minute. And I just like the setting. That building was beautiful. Like everything just looked really cool. They had some like great cinematography. There was like a couple long takes. I didn't really call them out, but when they're putting up like the plastique, you know, the cameras following the wire and going up, which was kind of cool. We had some dolly zooms. We had almost split focus shots, but not quite. There were a couple shots where you could see like John McLean in the foreground with stuff happening in the background. I think that just like the general blocking of each of the shots was really good. And I think there was just like the right amount of comedy. We had some different characters like Argyle and the guy eating like the crunch bar, just like little moments that are kind of funny without taking too much away from the rest of the story because you still have these guys taking over the building. And as far as like a Christmas movie, is concerned everything is so christmas there are so many different christmas songs little jingles in the background every scene had something to do with christmas um even when like they're on like these abandoned floors you'll have one christmas ornament here or maybe the walls tagged with merry christmas like nearly every setting had christmas elements to make sure that you knew that this was a christmas movie um so it is funny that there is some debate i just don't know how there is a debate about that I know that I mentioned that a few times throughout this reaction, but it was important to me to get to the bottom of it. I am excited to see if Powell and McLean hang out in the second one, or if like John McLean comes to live in LA and becomes like an LA cop. I have no idea. I had a great time. I hope you did as well. If you liked my reaction, please like this video. It helps me out. And let me know in the comments what your favorite moments from this movie are. And if you want to see more reactions from me, subscribe. I do 80s and 90s comedies, action movies, and just kind of everything in between, all genres at this point. And once again, I've been Jay. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a happy holiday.